Welcome of UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division battle. A near perfect combination of boxing ability and technique. Few guys have been able to hold up when it comes to this guy's boxing acumen. And he'll be trying to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And what really has helped him is his ability to defend takedowns. It discourages his opponents from shooting on him. Right. So then they are forced to stand in the boxing range. No one manages distance better. No one understands getting in range and in out of range better than this guy. And the moment you're stuck there, you are a lame duck. He is going to find you. He's a sniper. The jab always lifts the chin. The right hand follows. And if you are able to withstand that, you got to watch for everything coming after it. And I love watching him land that beautiful left body shot as he ends a lot of his combination. Yeah, we talk so much about his offense, but his defense as a boxer, right? The head's never on the center line. It's almost like his head's detached from his body. Truly a sight to behold. We'll see if he can put forth another shining performance here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight, but there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting! This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Butcher! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! Lee! All right, commit the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big-time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time actors? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, that's a nice strike. Checks the light kick. Massive head kick. Oh! Big kick. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Yeah. Going 
to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Lee. Beautiful strike. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Slips that left hand. Two minutes remain in the round. See if he can finish. Get those combinations going. Move those hands. Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Big head kick. to go in what has been a wild round one. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let go. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Let's 15 seconds. Jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. This big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems... Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. That is... Oh, man, this dude is good. Oh, big left. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Great punch. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Blocks the shot. Good punch. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. He gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Let's go. Finish, finish, finish. Game of inches right Damn there, boy. Up. Wow. 
It was a good night if that landed. Nice body kick. Oh, nice. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Real nice body kick lands. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one? What a fight so far. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, here we go as our next round gets Ready? underway. His strong Ready? leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. In this he race. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. He missed with that jab attempt. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instance. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut. He targeted it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He just keeps making a split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Nice kick. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Oh! That's how you finish a fight. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Try to establish that jab. Ooh, what a punch. Left punch is good. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. And a knee. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Unable to land with that punch. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Hands up, hands up. 
big punch lands. Ooh. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Just unable to quite find that range. Hands high, hands high. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Beautiful one-two punch. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Straight punch lands. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, we'll see if he can turn the... Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Oh! Wow! Oh, yeah. Wow! What a performance! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 51 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. Lee. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.